welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with, again, another WWE Elite Series ranking video. And today, we are covering a very special superstar, one that is a legend among legends. He is an absolute beast. He has been through every era imaginable, man. I mean, this guy was around forever. And today, we are covering him, man. I can't wait to get into it. One of my favorites growing up. We have Shawn Michaels, the Heartbreak Kid, coming in. Tons of elites from Mattel so far. I did include both of his ultimates. We got some cool figures in here that I cannot wait to rank for you guys. We are going to do it just like all the other rankings. If you guys have not checked out on the channel the rest of our ranking videos, definitely go check those out. I'd greatly appreciate it. We have ranked all kinds of superstars, and let me know down below who you would like to see next, whether it be Scott Hall slash Razor Ramon, Kane, Edge, whoever the hell you guys want to see, we can rank them, and I'll probably bring back the other series as well, where we rank, you know, series uh, 26 through 30, and we keep that going, you know, like five series at a time. If you guys want to see that, let me know down below. And we may even do the Unmatched Collection from AEW one day as well, but here we are, man. We got HBK. If you guys didn't know the rankings or the tier list over here, we do have it over here, man. We have five different categories. I'll run through them real quick. At the top, you have go buy it. That means if I put a figure in that section, man, it is worthy of your collection. It needs to be in your collection. It's that damn good. It feels good in the hand. It's got great head sculpt. It represents Shawn Michaels really well, and that's probably a figure you want to add to the collection. So that is the go buy it section. Right under there, we have good figure. Good figure is like maybe if you want to put it in the collection, I completely understand. It's a good figure. It's very, very solid. It's not quite just must have, but it is a very, very good figure. And if you wanted to put it in your collection, I would not blame you one bit. I would understand it completely. Next up is meh, where it's like, it's not the best figure ever. It's not the worst figure either. You know, it could be in the good figure section for you. It could be in the barely acceptable. It's just meh. It's middle of the road. Doesn't quite move the needle enough to be in the good figure category. Under that, we have barely acceptable. Barely acceptable means that you have one redeeming quality about you that is keeping you from the lowest tier possible. And that is going to be the garbage. Garbage means you shouldn't obtain it. You don't need it in your collection. Don't even look at it. It's just one of those that is just garbage, man. It is absolutely terrible, and I wouldn't recommend it at all. Nonetheless, man, we are going to dive in straight into it, and we're going to start things off with one of my favorite HBKs they've ever made, and we don't even have it in hand yet, but it is the Ruthless Aggression Shawn Michaels, and this is a new Elite coming very soon to Walmart. It's going to be a Walmart exclusive. This is go buy it. I mean, it's not even a thing. It's a beautiful figure head to toe. I would like a different head sculpt, but as a Ruthless Aggression Elite, man. This is this is what we've always wanted. I've been begging Mattel for long pants Shawns. Here it is. Wonderful attire, double jointed arms, beautiful head sculpt. Gonna be one of the best Shawn Michaels ever made to this point, exactly. And that's gonna be a go buy it right there. Next up is the actual best of pay-per-view referee Shawn Michaels Elite. This one's very, very cool. I'm gonna put this in a good figure. I don't think it's a must-have. I think it's a very cool figure. You get his wrist tattoo. You get, you know, a referee shirt. You have the, like, long black pants. I remember when this figure was very popular. People were taking this guy and making him into Jeff Hardy. They were using him for a lot of parts and stuff like that. Actually, kind of a harder figure to come by nowadays, but I don't think it's must-have in your collection. It's just one of those that's a cool piece in the Mattel timeline. Not, you know, I don't think it's out of, you know, go out of your way to grab, but it is a cool figure, and it's a good piece of history here from WWE and Mattel's little partnership. Next up, guys, we have our Retro Fest HBK. This one's very interesting for me. I don't think it's, like, horrible. I do like all the colors, but it has the weird arms. The legs are not very poseable. It's got big knee pads. I don't even think the head sculpt really looks that much like Shawn Michaels. I'm actually going to put it in meh. It, it, like, it's cool because it's like a throwback rocker style Shawn Michaels. Very, very early Shawn. If you're a completionist or, you know, you love Shawn Michaels a whole lot, I could understand you wanting this figure, but I don't think it's must have. I do. I've owned this figure maybe three or four times in my lifetime. I think the best category for him is going to be meh. I'm going to put him in meh. Next up is Elite 3 Shawn Michaels. I don't know, man. This is the first ever Shawn Michaels Elite. This comes on very, very early in the Mattel history right here. I don't know if it's quite good figure. Like, it is a good figure. I feel like it's kind of offensive to say it's not a good figure. Like, the head sculpt's kind of bad. It does have cool accessories. It is a long pants Sean. But now that we're getting these other long pants Sean's, you know, there's only two, I think, long pants Sean's from around this time frame. Maybe another one if you want to count the WrestleMania one that we're going to get into later. Ah, I don't know, man. I'm going to put in good figure. We'll put in good figure. It's like a, I like the pants. I just feel like it's so old that it's like, do you actually need this. It's actually kind of a harder figure to come by as well. I'm going to put in good figure. I think that's fair. Next up is the WrestleMania 33, WrestleMania 12 Shawn Michaels, and this one is a good figure. A lot of people have this. A lot of people love this figure. Not my favorite head sculpt. We've seen this head sculpt so many times on Shawn Elites, but at the same time, it's a, it's a good figure. I think it's better than these two. If you want to put that and go buy it, I could see that as well. I think it, it kind of holds like a salty memory for me. I just feel like we could have gotten more with it, not just the championship and the head sculpts 
not the best, but it is a really solid figure. It poses around really good. I'm going to put it in good figure for now. It could be in the go buy it. We'll go see. Next up, guys, we have the defining moment, Shawn Michaels. This is go buy it, absolutely. You get a ton of great accessories. I think the head sculpt is the same head sculpt as the Elite 3, but I think this is, this is virtually the same figure as the Elite 3, but it's a step above it. You know what I'm saying? It has great accessories. It's got the cloth white jacket, great moment and time and everything like that. Really awesome figure. I'd put it in go buy it right now, and I wouldn't think twice about it. Next up is the WrestleMania 30, WrestleMania 14 Shawn Michaels. This one is go buy it again. This is actually one of the best Shawn Michaels that you could purchase in your collection. I think it may be the best Shawn Michaels out there. I love the gear. I love the head sculpt. It is, the, I think it is fair to say it's the best Shawn Michaels head you could possibly buy, especially for the time frame. I love the braids that he's got going and the beads and stuff in his hair. It looks insane. It's a great figure. It's a fantastic figure. It is go buy it worthy. I would love to. I've owned that twice, I think, and I always end up losing it somehow, so I got to get it back in my collection, but uh, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. Go grab it. Next up is Elite 19, Shawn Michaels. This one's very good. Not my favorite head sculpt, though. Uh, I'm th ah, is it better than the Elite? Is it better than this one, though? European title, you do get the entrance gear. I actually like that head sculpt better than that head sculpt when it doesn't even really look like a young Shawn, but it is the black and silver. We did have two versions of that. We had, like, the Legends wave, that random Legends wave, and the Elite 19. It's the same figure, but you guys get the point. I don't know. I I'm gonna leave it right there in good figure. I don't know if it's quite go buy it worthy. It is good. I do like it, but I don't know if I want to put it and go buy it. Sean, Sean's figures are really, really excellent, man. So a lot of his figures are competing right there, the go buy it section, but I'm gonna put it in good figure for now. Next up is Elite 7, Sean. This is a very cool figure. I love all the accessories. I love the gear, the camo gear with the DX. You know, it's not everybody's favorite, you know, uh, era of DX, but at the same time, the gear is sick AF. The accessories are sick AF. You have the, you know, the green wristbands on it. It's a really cool figure there. I feel like with all the bells and whistles, it's litter, it's go buy it because it's not as boring as, say, the Elite 3. It has some stuff going on with it. It's, you know, an upgrade, I think, from there. I, I'm going to put it in go buy it. I'm going to put it in go buy it. I don't even own that figure. I've never owned that figure. It's one that I would love to own and have all the accessories to. One day, I will be doing that. I need to really expand the Shans, but that is a go buy it figure, I guess. It, like, in the terms of quality, you'll notice that all three of these, at the, or all these that appear in the go buy it are going to be always be the top tier quality. That is Elite 7. Seven, Sean. Speaking of which, we have the new WrestleMania 26, WrestleMania 38, or WrestleMania 38, WrestleMania 26, Elite Shawn Michaels double jointed arms. This is one of my favorite Shawns ever. It may even be better than this one. I love the head sculpt. I love the double jointed arms. It's long pants Shawn we haven't seen in a long time. Great matchup. Both of these are really good. Like, I, I, like, all these are, I'd say outside maybe the Elite 7, all these are kind of interchangeable. I could see you going this one first. I could see you going, you know, you could, you could interchange these up here probably, but, uh, I, I don't know. It's really hard to say. I, 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 I'm fine with this right here. I think all these are great. They're really poseable. They're excellent. They're Shawn Michaels figures, you know, but uh, I think it is go buy. It's definitely go buy. If you find that at retail, which it's hitting retail right now, you need to go ahead and grab it. You will not regret it. I have two copies right now. Could add a third. You know, it's it's that good for me for Shawn Michaels. So the WrestleMania 26 Shawn Michaels figure right here is going and go buy. Next up, guys, is the new Amazon exclusive, I think, Ultimate Edition Fan, fan Takeover. Fan Takeover Shawn Michaels right here. This is Go Buy It. I love the colors on this figure. This actually might be the best Shawn Michaels figure ever made. We'll have to see when we get it in hand, but I love the first Ultimate Edition go around. I love this Shawn. This Shawn has all the bells and whistles. I love the vest. I love the hat. I love the head sculpts. Eh, head sculpts are kind of eh, you know, I'll, I'll be real there. Uh, I, I do think that the pants are sick. I love the gear that we're getting there. I love that figure. I think this is better than his first Ultimate Edition, so I like this figure a lot. I think it's Go Buy It. If It may be the best Shawn figure ever. We'll have to see. But at the time, it's go buy it. It's absolutely go buy it. Look at all the go buy it's for Shawn Michaels. I love to see it. I love to see it. Next up is the Rockers Legends 2-pack with Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty. I don't, again, just like this, Shawn, I don't think that it's necessarily, you know, must have. I think it's meh. I love the cloth shirt. I think nostalgic reasons and, you know, stuff like that, people are probably going to want to rank it higher. But at the same time, I don't think it's quite on that tier. You know, it's not a bad figure. It's not a great figure. I think meh is where it belongs. I love the cloth shirt, but it's very very early on Mattel, so he doesn't move around the best as these other figures, so I put him in meh. Next up is the Network Spotlight, and this is another meh. I'd probably put this one at the top of meh. I do not like this head sculpt. I love the gear. I thought the gear was really cool. I didn't like that he didn't include knee pads with the with the zebra print on there. I love the gear. I think the gear is fantastic, but I felt like a lot of these had loose waists. Uh, at least mine did. The head sculpt's not the best for me. I felt like they could have done a lot better there. It just doesn't move the needle a whole lot for me there. For this Shawn Michaels, I'm going to put it in meh. I think there are better Shawn Michaels out there, even though the gear is super 
sick. Wish it had a better head. Wish it was a little bit more solid and complete there. I'm gonna put him in meh. I think that's fair. Next up is the DX Walgreens exclusive Shawn Michaels, and I like this figure. I think this is a good figure here. I don't think it's like quite go buy it. I think I'd rather have the Elite 7. You know, it's uh, a little bit different. It's kind of plain Jane, you know, but it is another long pants Shawn Michaels. I love the hat. I love the shirt. I, I did fix mine up. I put some cool accessories and shirts on him and stuff like that, so that kind of fixed him up a little bit, but at the same time, man, it is a good figure. It's definitely a good figure, and I understand if you want to put that in the collection there. It's just, I think if, you, if you're trying to decide long pants DX Shawn Michaels, Elite 7 is the way to go. It's a lot more colorful. It's a lot more there. Even though they're not quite the exact same time frame, I still like the Elite 7 better. Next up is the WrestleMania 37, I guess, Elite, and that is going to be the black and white. I think this is WrestleMania 9 Shawn Michaels. This one's solid. I felt like it was super loose, though. Like, I felt like the, the arms and shoulders were loose. My waist was loose. My legs were loose. It's a cool gear. I just don't know if it's quite... Is it good figure? I feel like it is good figure, you know? I think it is good figure. I don't know. I'm gonna put it in good figure for now. It does move around a little bit better there. I'm gonna put it in good figure. I think that's fair to say. I'm not gonna get crazy or anything like that, you know? I, I don't wanna get insane, but I think that figure is, is good figure. Next up is the ringside exclusive Shawn Michaels. This one's go buy it. I, I like this one a lot. Yeah, it's a really damn good figure. It moves around very good. It has great accessories. If you can get your hands on this, even Mock, it's a beautiful looking figure. I love the kick pads. I love the gear. This is a really cool Shawn Michaels. Uh, it's just really awesome. I think it's great. It's a perfect era of Shawn Michaels right there. Has all the bells and whistles on it. It includes knee pads. It includes a really cool gear. What else can you ask for out of Shawn Michaels? Next up is another ringside exclusive Shawn, and this one is also go buy it, I think, man. You get the entrance gear. The DX long tights is really sick. Oh my god, it moves around great. Does it have the best head sculpt? It has the same head sculpt as this Sean over here, the Elite 19, but I think it's a little bit better there. You do get the DX gear for it. You don't get a championship or nothing, but at the same time, really cool gear on that guy. It is missing some details, but I still like it a lot. I think you need it for that Sean shelf. I think it is worth the purchase, man. Go buy it. Go buy it, absolutely. We may be running out of room here with our go buy it. Next up is going to be the Commissioner Build-A-Figure from the Flashback Walmart exclusive wave. A lot of people probably forget about this figure, but it actually was a Build-A-Figure that came on the flashback wave and uh not a lot of people own this figure because uh you know that wave was so sparse in sparse or with scarcity or whatever the hell i'm saying it wasn't a lot spread out you didn't find that figure a whole lot or the full wave there i think you can get it loose on ebay but again this is a meh figure you know it's 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 a commissioner hbk it's a it's a moment in time if you will it's a brown suit it's just like every other builder figure except it has a five o'clock shadow in the elite wrestlemania uh ponytail head sculpt it does have a cowboy hat but it's not like you know, anything like must have, you know, it's just, you could take any other suited body. It is like iconic with the brown suit and stuff, but I think you could mesh together some figures and make this guy. And I just don't think it's like must see. It's not like barely acceptable though, because it is a cool piece. It's a build a figure in a suit, which is cool. And it's not garbage because it's, I mean, I understand why you'd want this. Even if it wasn't Sean, it would be really good. It's literally a suited body with a Sean head on it. I think that's good enough for a collection, but I'm going to put it in the middle tier right there. I'd understand it. Next up is the first ultimate edition Sean Michaels. This one's going in go buy it right here. I like this figure a lot. I think I like the head sculpt. Not The head sculpts on the Ultimate Editions have been very hit and miss. For some reason, Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart just cannot get good head sculpts for whatever reason. It's just, they just can't capture them. They have a very unique look to them. And so, I think this figure is still really damn good. It's probably better than some of these, but I'm going to put them right there. I mean, it, it could be up here, you know. I, I don't understand it. I'll, I'll, I'll lock them in right here. All these right here at the Go Buy It section are fantastic, man. They really are. I don't have any problems with the Ultimate Edition. I think it's beautiful. And that takes us into the SummerSlam Elite that we're about to get. And I honestly feel like so this is what you're looking at. If you put this guy and go buy it, he does have entrance gear which is a step above, but I don't think his gear, the gear is sick as hell, the black and white but this is where you're comparing your Ruthless Aggression figure with your SummerSlam because they're from the same time frame kind of they're right there in the Ruthless Aggression era you get entrance gear with one, they have the same head sculpt they both have double jointed arms. I still think it's go buy it worthy. It's that damn good, but I think, ah I'm gonna put it and go buy it. I'm gonna put it and go buy it. I just have to. I just have to. It's my ranking, you know? It's my ranking. I gotta, I gotta do it. It's beautiful. Shawn Michaels has a ton of great figures. He has some good figures. He has some meh figures, but all of these are go buy it worthy. I feel like that is totally uh, a thing. I don't think that's too cut. Yeah, I don't think it's ridiculous to say that. Next up, we have the Flashback exclusive, or the Walmart exclusive Flashback Elite Shawn Michaels. It comes with the Heartbreak Hotel, stuff like that. This is a really good figure. I think the, it's very similar to the Ringside exclusive, and I think it's just a step below the ringside exclusive because the ringside exclusive doesn't have the weird 
new articulation or new articulation with like the elbow like swivel thing so i'm gonna put it at good figure at the top it's very nice i love the all white look great for parts great knee pads stuff like that but i still think at the end of the day it's good figure not quite go buy it i think i'd rather have it is wrestlemania 10 from the iconic ladder match though that is something to note but i think i'd rather have the ringside exclusive overall as a figure so i think that's fine i mean these are virtually the same but this one is a little bit better i think in my opinion better jacket you know uh, better arms better packaging yeah better packaging i don't know but i think that pretty much wraps up our hbk elite ranking man i mean that that pretty much wraps everything up in a nice bow here we have everything ranked nothing in the barely acceptable category nothing in the garbage that's very nice for Shawn michaels all right guys so this is actually editing tray and i actually noticed that the ghostbusters elite Shawn michaels was not included for some reason i put it in the album to put in tier list and then it just never showed up for whatever reason so I would put it in good figure. The Ghostbusters HBK Elite is pretty damn solid. I like the color of the pants and stuff, so I'd put it in good figure, but I don't know why it didn't show up. If I was going to put any in the Barely Acceptable, it'd probably be the Retro Fest and maybe the uh, the Shawn Michaels right here, the Network Spotlight. If the Network Spotlight didn't have such good gear, it would be in the Barely Acceptable, I bet. But at the same time, the formula that they use for Sean is very nice and likable. And one thing I could see them doing is similar to uh, Seth Rollins where they change up his formula for these style elites. They're probably going to end up putting him on the... I would love to God if they would put him on the new Seth Rollins. Like his flashback elites from the 80s, 90s. If they were going to do that for Shawn Michaels, they need to put him on the Seth Rollins formula. If they put him on the Seth Rollins formula and made him like a new uh, kick pad design with these thicker legs and stuff, this torso could totally work for a Shawn Michaels. Michaels, but at the same time, man, that is going to wrap up my ranking of HBK Elites. Had a ton of fun with it. Plenty of great Shawn Michaels figures to come. Had a lot of fun with the ranking. You guys can let me know what character you guys want to see next down in the comment section below, but this wraps up my Shawn Michaels Elite Figure Ranking Series. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know all your favorites down in the comment section below. Do you agree with this list? You know, I, I feel like some of these could interchange for sure. I know a lot of people love the ringside exclusive DX, you know, the WrestleMania 25 defining moments, the new figures that we don't have quite yet i still think they're go buy it because what we know about the uh, this sean right here i think the ultimate edition is insane oh man the colors and just oh god it, everybody just let me know down in the comment section below what you think but i'm getting out of here man subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my name toys i'll see you guys in the next video and thank you, you the line i've been